Hi guys, in this video we're going to take a look at nav area classes and navigation query filters. And in order to visualize those, we're going to take a look at our setup here. We have a red enemy and we have a blue enemy over there. And then we have some red and blue spots on the floor. And the blue enemy, he can run across the blue zones, but he has to avoid the red zones. And the red enemy has to uh, avoid the blue zones, but he can run over the red zones. And they're both going to be chasing the player, and the player's got to avoid both of the red and blue zones. So let's go ahead and take a quick look at that. So as they come, the blue guy up at the top, he can just run right over it, and the red guy can run over the red. But they're both avoiding their uh, respective danger zones. Okay, so let's take a look at how we did that. Okay, so the first thing we're going to want to do is create some nav modifier volumes. And you can see those outlined around the uh, red and blue areas here. But remember, like we learned in a previous video, we don't want to carry them in from this side because then we'll get those generic box shapes. And that'll affect how the uh, AI characters interact with them. So we want to create our own custom shaped ones. And if you need help doing that, there's a link to a video in the description below. So it's really quick and easy. But once you have them all set up, the next thing we'd want to do is create some area classes. So we'll go over here to Blueprints, and we'll just type in Nav, and we'll come down here under Nav Area, and we have a couple of options. For this example, we'll just choose the Nav Area Obstacle, and we'll just open it up, and we'll just call this uh, BP Nav Area, and we'll make one for blue, and then we'll copy and paste it, and we'll make one for red. Okay, let's go ahead and open up the blue one real quick. Okay, so here on the blueprint, we see the draw color, the default cost, and the fixed area entering cost. So let's look at the draw color real quick. That's the red and blue that we saw earlier, so I'll just set that now. And then the default cost, that's the cost that the pawn has to consider as he's traveling through the area. And then the area entering cost uh, is basically just how costly is it for him to enter the area in the first place. And just a quick note, these are not the actual penalties that the pawn will pay if they go in this area. Penalties in terms of like losing health or stamina or something. That's actually done by using a trigger volume. And uh, that's a separate topic and that was covered in another video. The link to that video is also in the description. But in this video, we're just going to focus on how the pawn's AI navigation calculates whether it's worth it to go in this area or not, or whether they should avoid it and find a better route. So that's what we're going to focus on in this area. So we'll leave this as the default cost for now, and we'll go ahead and compile and save, and we'll do the same thing for the red area blueprint. Okay, now that we have our nav area classes, we need to assign them to our nav modifier volumes. So you go over here and you select all of them associated with this area first. And you come down to area class and you select it to the ones we just created, nav area red. I've already assigned them all to save time, but you would do it for all the red ones and all the blue ones. And then once you have them assigned, then we're gonna create some nav navigation query filters and those are used so that the blue guy can check if he's allowed to run on the blue but not the red and vice versa the red guy can check that he's allowed to run on the red but not the blue so to create those we go back and make some more blueprint classes and we'll type in query this time and we'll see down here navigation query filter and we'll go ahead and create that and let's just call this uh, bp nav query and we'll start with the blue one and then we'll copy and paste it and this will be for the red one okay let's start with the blue one first okay so when we first open this up uh, the only thing we need to look at for now is over here in the details panel the filter we have areas 
and we know that we've created two of them, a red and a blue area. So we'll make two entries in this array and we'll expand them both so we can see them. So let me pull this over so we can see it a little better. So for the first area class, since this is the, the filter that's going to be used by the blue character, we'll go ahead and choose the nav area blue. And then we'll also choose the nav area red. So everywhere where there is a blue nav area, we're going to override the travel cost and the entering cost. And since this blue guy, we're going to set them both to zero and it'll default down to 0 0.001. That's as low as it can go. But this means that this area is absolutely free for him to walk through. There's no cost, so he shouldn't hesitate to go through this area. But in the red area, we're going to override these and we're going to put this to 1 million for both. So this means that the blue guy will avoid the red area as much as he can. And then we'll just save that and close it. And then we'll do the same thing for the red. So we'll open it up in the blueprint, uh, the event graph. And we'll add two areas to the uh, array. And since this is the one that the red character is going to use, we'll start off with red. And then we'll also add the blue. And we'll override. And for the red, it should be as low as possible. So he shouldn't hesitate to go in there. But for the blue, we want them to be as high as possible. And this means that he'll try to avoid the blue area as much as he can. And we'll go ahead and close that. Okay, so now that we've created our query filters, we need to assign them to their respective pawns. So I'll take my uh, red enemy here, and I just have a simple uh, AI move to actor, and you'll see a filter class here. So you just come down, and since this is the, the red character, we'll choose the nav query red, and just compile and save that. And then on the blue character, just come over to the same uh, function. And in the filter class, we'll just choose nav query blue. So again, his blue query is telling him that it's okay to walk on the blue tiles, but to avoid the red tiles. And for the red character, he has the red query, which is telling him it's okay to walk on the red tiles, but to avoid the blue tiles. Okay, so let's close both of these. Okay, so now we should be able to play the game. And just real quick, we'll double check. So again, the blue guy, he's going to be able to walk on all of the blue tiles, and he'll avoid the red tiles. And the red guy, he can walk on the red tiles, but he'll avoid the blue tiles. And the player character, uh, if we go back to each one of these, the default cost, so that's what it would apply to everyone who doesn't have a query filter which overrides this. So since we didn't make one for the player character, the player character is going to avoid the blue and he's also going to avoid the red. So let's go ahead and play the game and see that real quick. So you can see the red guy trying to avoid the blue stuff. The blue guy ran right through the blue stuff. Uh, let's get the red guy to run through some red stuff. And you see there the blue guy had to go around, but the red guy came straight for me. Okay, so that's how you use uh, nav area classes and navigation query filters. So I hope that this video helps. Uh, please like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in some more videos.